Ask 100 people to define beauty and you'll get 100 different answers. Most people retreat from the challenge of the question, confident that they know beauty when they see it, choosing to describe it rather than define it. But when really pressed on the question, descriptions of physical appearance begin to fall away. If you think of our bodies as machines, we're a finely tuned machine. We put ourselves in situations where we're having to fight or flight um, that idea or that workout or that lift. So you look around, you see a lot of people with defined muscles, their traps, their abdominals, their quads. You can see the striations in their legs. Right off the bat, you see outside aesthetic looks and you, you look at them as, as beautiful traits, right? I think that's what first comes to mind. I love the way that CrossFitters look because it's just so real. Yeah, that's beauty in a sense, but at the same time there's that confidence between them where maybe they've gone through a personal struggle or they found something where this is what helps them define themselves as an individual. I think what um, differentiates the beauty from the outside to the inside is the heart and the perseverance that each CrossFit athlete shows through each one of these workouts. For me, I look at it it's like I've been able to grow and learn so much, not only physically, but also emotionally, mentally, be in a position where it's like I gotta be able to keep going. So I think that's the other aspect of the beauty. It's beautiful to be fit, but I think for the most part, the way I feel is that anyone who carries themselves with confidence will be beautiful. That term beauty is very, you know, subjective to, to your experiences and what you've been told and what you've been led to believe and it's something that there's no question. Man, that's beautiful. Whether it's a waterfall, whether it's a, a bird flying, whether it's someone, you know, that's just doing an air squat with, you know, with some degree of virtuosity. And that's something that you know, when you watch any athlete in their apex of their career, there's never a doubt. There's like, you're like, well, that's awesome. It's beautiful. I wonder if perhaps a woman that is thinking more about looking like a girl in a fashion magazine, that, that's what they see as feminine and looking at bulky muscles to them is seeing some kind of masculinity. Growing up you get a stigma of women aren't supposed to be in the gym getting stronger, lifting, it's like, oh, go run. You know, and you talk to a lot of women that have never done anything, if I haven't lifted weights in 20, 30 years. The heroin chic glorified by the fashion industry is at its root in humor. It demands that life's rich resources, mobility, strength, even intelligence, be squandered in the pursuit of a pitiful aesthetic. So hopefully over the years, what I can expect from my daughter is that there'll be a blend and a cultural shift from looking at just the aesthetic look to looking at how well can this person perform. There are people who spend their entire lives allowing their reflection in the mirror to determine their self-esteem, submitting to a cultural judgment established decades ago. But in CrossFit gyms all over the world, mirrors are conspicuous by their absence. Fitness is gauged in reps, in speed, power, virtuosity. And beauty is measured in joy and in pride. That's really what CrossFit's about, making life better. You know, people would be like, oh, wait till you're in your 30s or wait till you're in your 40s. You'll know what it's like. It's really hard to um, keep the weight off and it just starts piling on and things like that. Oh, no, I'm not scared of that anymore. <laughs> And I, you know, we get wrapped up in the games and it's sexy and it's fun, but gosh, to be able to just say, yeah, I can do that. Maybe not as fast, maybe not as much, but I can do that. Puts you uh, head and shoulders above the majority of the human population. And that's beautiful to me. If you want to look good, do stuff well and do what life demands of you. And, and everything else will fall into place. If we could get people to focus more on their own health and well-being, I think everything would just become secondary to that. When you see them grow, male and female, as clients that, that just learn to move and learn to be aware of their body, the comfort they have, you can see it, their shoulders are back, their chin is up, and they just, they just become just different people, and it's really fun to watch the progression. Everyone comes in the gym, they want to lose weight, they want this or that. Next thing you know, they, I want my first pull. I want a body weight clean. 
I want a double body weight back squat. It's what? That's awesome. To recognize and accept the body's gifts and shortcomings and impose discipline over them is for many where beauty begins. And then beauty is no longer fleeting, but becoming. Now I have a 76 year old member shows up in a sports bra one day and she's like, well the other girls are doing it so I just figured it was the right thing to do. All fired up and throwing down on workouts. I was like, it's the coolest thing in the world. I'm not ashamed of my figure. I like being strong. I like being able to lift nearly as much or more than the, most of the lads that I work with. I'm not going to lie and say that uh, it never happened that I wish I was someone else or physically someone else, but as you age and as I matured, um, I wouldn't change my body type for anything else. Ask 100 people to define beauty and you get 100 definitions. Ask 100 people at the CrossFit Games to define beauty and they answer with a gesture. Because at the CrossFit Games, beauty speaks up itself.